The Summary of the Mother As an author who wrote happily under the Soviet Union and began the literary method called social realism in Mother, Gorky tells the tale of the proletariat protesting against both the Grand Russian Tsar as well as capitalism, eventually leading to the October Revolution. The story focuses on a worker in a factory called Palaguya who is bent on ignoring the politics of the upheaval in Russia so that she can concentrate on her personal life. Palaguya becomes a big symbol for the worker who just struggles to live day to day. The story also focuses on Palaguya's son Pavel who instead of focusing on personal life chooses to focus on the political upheaval by joining the revolution. Pavel ends up inspiring others to join the revolution as well, showing their disagreement and disillusion of the capitalism of Russia at that time. Eventually, Pavel is brought to trial and confronts the coldness of judges. Through the trial, Pavel gives a passionate speech supporting socialism, after which Pavel and his friends are exiled. More socialists are tracked down. Meanwhile, someone prints Pavel's speech. Palaguya vows to deliver them to the neighboring town. On her way, she is beaten by low men, as the scatters the leaflets. The reason why Gorky's story is called Mother is because Gorky con- considers Russia, and especially Soviet Russia, as the mother country who will support all of her citizens and assist them in bolstering their rights. What are the motifs in Maxim Gorky's mother? When Maxim Gorky was writing his novel Mother, Russia was undergoing unprecedented social upheaval. The revolutionary fervor that was ruthlessly put down by Tsar's secret police in the event known as Bloody, Bloody Sunday, in which around 100 protesters were killed and hundreds more wounded. It was the culmination of the violent activities perpetrated by loyalists and rebels alike. Nicholas II was known to be an enemic leader, whose capacity for governing was suspect. While he would begin to implement political reforms following that January 1905 day, it was too little too late for increasingly militant and radical revolutionaries, especially the Socialist Revolutionary Party. For millions of workers and peasants, the situation remained exceedingly bleak. Gorky's novel was an effort on his part to sanctify the revolutionary movement that would later come to power. The motivating factors in Mother involved desperate conditions under which ordinary Russians were forced to exist. More a political tract than a well-told story. Gorky's protagonists are noble revolutionaries dedicated to social justice. Early in part one, the other describes the dismal conditions of the factories in which the downtrodden workers slaved away for benefit of the moneyed classes. Ruling on the history, Sazarism and the exploitation of workers and peasants, and the effects of generation of oppression and disregard for the working conditions of those in the factories. Gorky's characters, chief among them Pavel and his friends, have committed their young lives to correcting these historical wrongs. Much to the initial amusement mixed with a certain justice trepidation of Pavel's mother Palaguya, who becomes an integral part of the group's political activities. Commenting on her son's unusual mixture of friends, Palaguya tells Pavel, What care people you are? said mother to little Russian one day. All are your comrades, the Armenians and the Jews and the Austrians. You speak about all as of your friends. You grieve for all and you rejoice for all. Pavel, his mother and their friends are motivated by the most noble of ambitions. They reject an injustice that permit Russian society and at great personal risk, continuously strive to improve the world. Gorky's novel is more than a little naive 
but that naitut is the understandable given Russia's history and the context in which this story was written. The motives of these young revolutionaries are pure. That their efforts will all be enough the courtesy of Lenin, Stalin and the rest was beyond Gorky's vision.